It's easy to get stuck between lead acid and lithium batteries if you don't know much about motorcycle batteries. For starters, the lead acid batteries are the traditional, conventional batteries that have been around for many years. These batteries still enjoy extensive usage today. The lithium ion batteries represent the recent upgrades in motorcycle battery technology that changes how batteries work. Before you decide on which of the two batteries to buy for your motorcycle, add expert guide below on everything you need to know about the two batteries, including their strengths and weaknesses. If you go shopping for the perfect motorcycle battery for your bike, you'll notice that the above two batteries are the most common on the market. Which battery to get for your bike will depend on a variety of factors. Below, we'll provide you with critical information regarding each battery to help you make a more informed decision. Also referred to as wet cell or flooded batteries, lead acid batteries are the traditional batteries used to fire up motorcycle engines. A typical conventional battery used diluted sulfuric acid and water. When you try powering your motorcycle engine using this battery, the sulfur inside reacts with the coating applied to series of vertically stacked lead alloy plates, thus the name lead acid battery. With time, the battery manufacturers have tried to eliminate the maintenance need for these batteries as well as the spilling associated with the acid and water inside these traditional batteries. These batteries utilize upgraded technologies that make them eliminate the need to service them. Plus, they come sealed, so you won't have to worry about them tipping and the electrolyte inside spilling. These batteries usually come at a higher cost than the flooded batteries. Still at it, the manufacturers have also come with AGM, absorbed glass mat batteries. These usually come with fiberglass mats permanently soaked in the electrolyte. These batteries can further be divided into models that come with the mats laid flat, just like the lead plates inside a flooded battery or spiral AGM batteries, where the mats come rolled and placed into cells. As we mentioned earlier, the lithium ion batteries represent the technological advancements in the world of motorcycle batteries. The newer technology promises increased power and reliability for riders, Despite being released many years after the lead acid models, these batteries have become highly popular. One of the key reasons why they're so much popular is due to their lightweight and compact design. A typical lithium ion battery has an entirely different chemical reaction compared to what we have seen in the lead acid batteries above. They use lithium, the lightest of all metals. Inside, you'll find a different electrolyte lithium salt in a solution that's not water. It's also worth noting that the lithium ion batteries tend to be energy dense compared to the lead acid batteries. Now that we have outlined all the important details you need to know about these two batteries, here are the key points we can draw from this discussion. This refers to the percentage of a battery's total capacity that you can safely drain from it without damaging it. A lithium battery lets you use up to 85% or more of its total capacity in a single cycle. This is unlike a lead acid battery that shouldn't be discharged past around 50% as this can affect its lifespan. The efficiency rate of lead acid batteries is a bit lower than that of lithium batteries. To be more specific, lithium batteries are rated around 95% efficient, meaning up to 95% of the energy stored inside them is usable. Lead acid models, on the other hand, are rated between 80 and 85%. Though a slight difference, higher efficiency in the lithium batteries means they have higher battery capacity. Generally, all batteries degrade over time. The act of discharging the battery to power your bike engine and then recharging it makes one cycle. With that said, lithium batteries deliver more times the number of cycles than lead acid batteries translating to a longer lifespan. The lead acid batteries are more affordable than lithium ion batteries. They have lower purchase as well as installation costs. You will be surprised to note that a typical lead acid model costs hundreds of bucks less than a lithium ion model with the same size. The differences in cost usually boil down to the fact that the cost of production of lithium batteries is way higher than that of lead acid models. Nonetheless, the longer lifespan of the lithium ion batteries compared to lead acid batteries tends to even the scale. Both lithium and lead acid motorcycle batteries are quite common among motorcycles. Both of them can reliably power your motorcycle engine, so they find wide usage among riders. However, the two batteries have significant differences, with the lead acid batteries representing the old and the lithium ones representing the new and motorcycle batteries. Study the strengths and weaknesses of each of these batteries to help you make a more informed decision on which one to buy for your bike. It's easy to get stuck between lead acid and lithium batteries if you don't know much about motorcycle batteries. For starters, 
The lead acid batteries are the traditional, conventional batteries that have been around for many years. These batteries still enjoy extensive usage today. The lithium-ion batteries represent the recent upgrades in motorcycle battery technology that changes how batteries work. Before you decide on which of the two batteries to buy for your motorcycle, read out expert guide below on everything you need to know about the two batteries, including their strengths and weaknesses. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.